Hello guys, Genos here and welcome to Exos Heroes and today it's time to do a lot of multi summons for our gold Fedkor John Donk, the successor John Donk. Let's get started. This guy is pretty amazing, alright? And I definitely want to try him out right away. And I'm just hoping for my Exos Heroes not to crash on me while I am summoning from blue stacks. Alright. So well, that is it. Uh, hey one, okay. As long as you get like just one copy, a gold fed for John Donk, you can pretty much quit the banner right away. Unless you are very near to the PD, like you are already at 26, 27 summon, then you can go for the, uh, you know, like for, for the dupe, okay? So yeah, that is pretty much it. But if you actually manage to get your hands on the gold fed for John Donk right away, yeah, just quit it because he's not a general. So no need for the dupes, guys. No need for the dupes. And Metron, he has a 0.5% chance of drop rate, and uh, you can pity him after 28 multi summons. That's gonna cost me a total of 19,600 cents. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's special about the John Dunk is that, like, not he can actually counter the opponents with the stun effect, he can even provoke the opponents while actually, you know, like, granting himself the reflect damage effect. I mean, like, just think about it. He's going to provoke the opponents, the back row enemies, and he they are definitely gonna attack him and when they are gonna attack our successor John Dunk They are gonna receive really good damage in return thanks to the reflect damage That is pretty good and more the damage they are gonna be dealing more the damage that uh, They are gonna be receiving and that is so good man. That is really good Okay, so that said uh, they are like all the other amazing features with the gold fair good John Dunk What is that? Well, he can actually improve the attack power of your entire team real, real good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. Damn it. Oh, well, so last time I just managed to receive two Fated Hero units, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so no Fate Core so far. I'm already seven Molta Summons deep, all right? And no Fate Core units so far. Okay, I'm gonna take it. That's uh, pretty uh, nasty. Nasty, nasty. Okay. Oh well, anyways, uh, to continue, Gold uh, Fate for John Dong can actually be a really great character in order to improve the DPS output of your entire team. And that actually makes him a really great unit that you can pair up with the Lenom team together with the Gold Fate Core carry. Think about it, man. This guy can actually be a really great help to you guys. And recently, we have actually got the update, um, like notice that say that uh, the uh, third enhancement, the third stage, fourth enhancement level of the Lenom Nation is actually gonna get unlocked. So that means like Lenom Nation, they are actually gonna get even more fierce uh, from the next update. <laughs> so well, things are actually looking forward for a new meta possibly. <laughs> How about that? Oh, it's not skipping. Finally, guys, finally, this could be it. This could actually end my suffering. Okay, please do save my sense. That's a fate core unit. Come on, twinkle, twinkle, little star. The raid fader, and definitely it's support. Oh, oh my God, really? Oh man, that oh, that sucks, man. That sucks. Come on, come on. Black fate core Baraka. Even though it's a great unit, though, for the Lenom Nation, that is. <laughs> But man, come on! This game is really trying to rip, a, rip, a, rip apart my sass. Okay. What was that? That's that's so distasteful, man. It's, it feels so bad on my tongue. All right, how about the next one? That's a story. Okay. How about this one? The skipped Nero. That is. How about this one? That skipped as well. Metron. All right. All right. All right. So I'm already 40 multi summon deep and. Uh, yeah, things are not actually looking good so far. Though I cannot actually complain because I have already managed to receive a Fate Core Hero unit. And uh, I've already also managed to get a lot of uh, Faded Heroes. So yeah, can't really complain out here, can I? Okay, so well, let's confirm. Come on, come on. Come on, give me another Fate Core. Let it be the gold Fate Core, John Dong. Okay, that's Hawkeye. I really have to pity him. That's definitely gonna be a really bad loss for me for today. Alright, that's Cybel. How about the next one? Yeah, like most of the units that you are actually gonna encounter right over here. Yeah, usually you can say that like 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 90% like of the chance they are definitely gonna be a trash unit. I'm making 95%. <laughs> that's how like you know like that's like you know, 
out of hype it actually feels right now guys summoning on these banners just to feel that like wow most of the units that you have got so far they are so freaking pathetic and useless my god man all right anyway Oh my god. Alright, it seems that I didn't manage to get him last time as well. Okay, so, well, let's get moving on with all lots of crashes in this game. Man, this game crashes a lot. I mean, like, come on, let's just think about it. If the game just crashes, like, every two or three minutes after you play this game, like, what the hell? Like, who in this world in the right man, right mind, would actually, you know, like, keep on playing this game, man? I mean, like, this game crashes like every two or three minutes right after you start playing this game. And most of the players usually do rely upon the emulators, like special blue stacks, and have to play this game with real good fun, right? Hey, man. Ugh. There we go, guys. There are so many things that just deter this game that just makes the people who don't want to play this game, don't want to continue with this game, like, because of th those kind of issues. And yet, still. The devs, they are just making a lot of hollow promises over and over and over again. Not really trying to improve this game. You know, like, for real. <laughs> oh, man. They actually kind of really uh, talked about the Unity 2020 update last time, right? Yeah, seems like it didn't actually do, do its magic. Hey, one. Uh, yeah. What the hell. Seems like, guys, I'm totally gonna be... <sighs> Doing the PD summon out here, it's definitely it's not making me happy. <laughs> not really making me happy, guys. Okay, there we go. Confirm Tantalo. All right, come on, bring me more. What's it gonna be? Skip that shit. Okay, the hell, the speaker. All right. How about the next one? That's skipped as well. That's Annie. All right. How about the next one? Oh, it did not skip. Oh, oh, oh all right. That's that's better. That feels good. Okay. Oh, it's a signature faded hero unit. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a fa I, I've not actually managed to get this unit so far. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, guys, that's my alternate account, so I've not actually managed to get Hinder in this account. So, oh well. Uh, the hell. Let's just go with it. <laughs> the hell, man. The hell. Okay, it's not skipping. All right. All right. All right. This could be it, guys. This could be it. Okay, that's a fate core hero unit. That's a fake girl. Please let it be. 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 Okay, that's John Dong. All right. So. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty great. And uh, most of the players have already rated him 3.1. Like, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? Like, how many players have already done? Oh my God, that's a lot of players that have actually like you know stuff like this right up here. Just 3.1. Oh, I think that's for the like the base version, not for the Fateco version. Okay, okay. So I get it. Just two more Walter Simmons, and I'm actually gonna be pitting him. So yeah, I'm actually gonna go for it. Okay, why not? Why not? Just 1400 says. Okay. So let's bring it on. Maybe I might actually be able to get a lot more deeps as well. Who knows? Come on. At least give me a signature faded hero in it. A general. A general, at least a general. Come on, man. I think I overdid it. I think I overdid it. I was able, already able to claim it. Did not. Ah, oh, man, the hell. Okay, so, well, that was a waste of precious 700 says. Okay, so receive all. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what I've got so far. I'm waiting. Okay, so yeah, there we go. A dupe. Alright, that's John Dunk. Success of John Dunk. Confirm. I had to pity him. And uh, yeah, doesn't feel really that good though. That's a. Br oh my god. Alright, guys, whatever this stuff, man, let's try to check out the skill movesets of our John Dunk, okay? Oh, a lot of crashes, man. Oh, man, I'm pretty pissed off right now. Okay, so this is gonna be his basic attack. This is how it's gonna look like. Oh, my, he is actually a s he is actually summoning a unit in order to damage the opponent. All right. 
Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hierarchy. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do. This is a buff effect. And he's actually gonna provide himself with the defense boost a lot. Okay, and that's great. And there's the reflect stuff right over there as well. And if the opponents are gonna deal damage to him, the opponents are take, gonna take damage uh, back as well, alright? So next is gonna be his ultimate skill. And uh, we have got our... Alright, that looks pretty great. That's pretty awesome, man. That's Valar, right? Wow, he actually summoned Valar to deal damage to that guy. Okay, so yeah, there we go, guys. That's how the skill animation of our gold faker John Dunk really look like. Okay, so yeah, that is pretty much it. So this is it for today, guys. What do you guys think about this? Please do let me know in the comment section below. Should I go and start fusing him right away? Eh, that would be better. Don't guys think so. And let's look into it. Attack speed. Oh, 3.16 points. I would say that is pretty fair deal. Okay, see you guys in the next video.